And welcome back, everybody, uh, to Hayes Tech ROM Reviews. Um, I'm going to go over something really cool. Um, it's not actually out for download at this very minute, uh, but it is going to be uh, for download. And uh, I'm going to show you on the Nexus 6, uh, although this um, patch is going to be available for just about any device out there. Um, I think it has to be running Nougat, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, maybe Marshmallow, I'm not really sure. Um, but I'm going to put a link in the description for you guys to go check out um, some, uh, or check out the Google Plus community, maybe read up on it. But uh, this is the HD patch uh, from uh, Movie Stone. He used to put out the HD uh, Fluence patch um, for the Nexus 6, uh, the LG G5, uh, many other devices. Um, he decided to come out with this patch here because what it does is basically take care of a lot of the problems that we have with Nougat. Um, with forced encryption, with uh, uh, getting it rooted, all, you know, all kinds of things. But, and it also adds all the really cool options that he used to have uh, in his other patch. So, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to flash this with Pure Nexus. So, what we're going to do is we are going to go ahead and do our wipes. Uh, we're going to go Advanced Wipe, Delvic, System, Data, and Cache. Uh, don't uh, wipe your internal storage, obviously, because that is going to be where you have all of your stuff on. Uh, we're going to swipe to wipe that. I want to make sure everything's still in the frame. Uh, we're going to go ahead and go back, back, back. Uh, we're going to go into install. The first thing you want to do is you want to install the ROM uh, that you want to use first off. So the first thing we are going to find my Pure Nexus install, and I think right here under PN. And we're going to go ahead and go Pure Nexus, uh, their latest build, which was uh, July the 15th, or <laughs> July, February the 15th. So. Uh, this is about a week old. We're going to swipe to install. Um, this is, we're doing basically what we normally do when we go to install a ROM. Uh, when you install a ROM, you do your wipes first. Uh, I highly recommend that you wipe Delvic, uh, Delvic Cache, Cache, those two, then System and Data. Um, that really gives you a clean base to install your ROM on. Uh, I do it even for updates. Um, a lot of people dirty flash their updates. I just don't do that. Uh, when you're done, uh, I'm going to go ahead and wipe ca or cache and Delvic. I'm just used to doing that. That's how I do it. So then we're going to go back again. Uh, the next thing we want to do is we're going to install this patch. And this is where the magic comes in. And it's really, really cool. So uh, I'm going to go to the Fluence uh, HD test. Uh, remember, guys, this is not going to be available for download or download when I put this video out. Uh, but it is going to be available really, really soon. It's not going to appeal to a lot of people although I think it should, um, but for those of you out there that were into his patches before, it, it does the same thing, only it goes way beyond that. Like I said, you, you'll see. Uh, we're going to go ahead and make sure that that's the patch, uh, Fluence HD patch, uh, swipe to install. Now, what's going to happen, it's going to open up an Aroma installer. Uh, it's going to give me all kinds of choices. Now, obviously, the first thing that comes up now is going to be the change log. Uh, guys, I highly recommend... Uh, you get uh, used to reading change logs. Uh, that tells you what was added, uh, what might have been removed uh, in every one of the updates. Uh, and since this is the first version that's going to be out, uh, basically this is just telling you what's in it. So uh, we're going to go ahead and hit start. Uh, first up, it's going to ask what kind of wipe we want to do. Uh, I already did a very, very clean wipe on this, so uh, I'm just going to pick. Uh, we're going to go ahead and go with a dirty wipe uh, because I really don't need it. To, to wipe anything. Actually, we'll go with the default setting, which is clean wipe. That's just, it just uh, wipes your cache, your Delvic, uh, and your uh, data. Basically, what I did right before I flashed a ROM. We're going to hit next. It's going to bring up our next set of features, uh, which is going to be what kind of device do you want. Um, you can go with the Pixel XL if you want, uh, Sony Xperia, HTC 10, uh, Samsung uh, S7, or you could just have it as your default device. Um, if you want to spoof that you have a, a Google XL for the uh, XL, all the um, uh, you know Google Assistant stuff, uh, you can go ahead and go with that. And that's what I'm going to go ahead and pick. Uh, then underneath here, you want to tell it what device you're running. Uh, it only gives you two options right now. Uh, that is the LG G5 and generic. So if you if it's not the LG G5, it's basically a generic um, device. So we have it uh, generic. I'm going to click next. Uh, this is going to be the boot animations. You guys can pick between the uh, Google Pixel XL, 
uh, Google Android logo or the blank screen or default. Um, we're going to go ahead and stick with the uh, Pixel XL uh, logo and we're going to pick next. Now this is where it starts to add a lot of features to your ROM. Um, and this is where you can do a lot of changing, adding, and stuff like this. The first screen, I highly recommend you guys leave it where it's at unless you don't want root. Uh, if you guys don't want root, definitely you want to uncheck these options that are already checked. You want to go no, no, no. That's if you don't want it. I want rooted. I want BusyBox. I want... Um, my I or I want the uh, uh, INITD scripts. I want that. So I'm going to leave all of that checked. Yes. Again, guys, you can you can check no on that if you want. That's entirely up to you. We're going to click next. Just want to make sure we're still in the in the screen here. <laughs> my uh, my little Lego carrier uh, is. I just want to make sure it's still holding everything. Um, the next screen is going to bring up. Uh, choices about apps whether you want to remove apps whether you want to add apps you know stuff like that uh, that's what this does so um, first up is going to be the super debloater would you like to remove all of the or almost all of the installed apps and what that does is that goes through checks the, the apps that you have on your system and removes uh, any app that it feels uh, won't be a detriment uh, to your boot up um, but since Pure Nexus comes pretty much, you know, without any, uh, it's very, I think it comes with like six or seven apps on the screen. Uh, I'm not going to pick that option, but if you would have a Samsung device uh, or if you're running stock Android, um, there's uh, a lot of Google apps that come with that. You know, um, you may want to get rid of some of them. Uh, next up is going to be the home launchers. You can add or remove, uh, remove the existing. You can add the Sony home launcher if you want. Uh, he's known for that in uh, all of his patches, uh, you know, the Xperia stuff. Um, galleries, you know, you can remove galleries, music players, video players, cameras. Uh, you can remove uh, all system cameras and add the LG uh, V20 if you want. Um, uh, dialer uh, contacts, you know, if you want to remove them and go with just the Google, uh, you can do that. Um, I'm going to leave all that on there, though. Uh, about the only thing I'm going to change on here is when it gives me the option to use Viper for Android. Uh, audio recorders, uh, equalizers right here. I'm going to go ahead and pick Viper for Android. Uh, then you have your file managers. You can remove them if you want. Keyboards, uh, SIM toolkits, widgets, you know, your live wallpapers. You want to remove that. This is how you do it. If you have an Android device, uh, you can get the Android extra apps. You can it removes all of the uh, uh, or the it removes all of the extra LG apps. I didn't mean Android. Um, then underneath that is what he calls the super bloater, basically adding apps to your system. But these apps are, are made by Chainfire, uh, or um, the first two are from Chainfire, or uh, some XDA apps. Um, recently. Uh, if you guys know that app, uh, you can get it on the Play Store. It is by Chainfire. It's a really cool app. Um, I highly recommend it. I, I'm not going to use it. I don't really use it a lot. It's a, a, an app you can use for recents, uh, stuff like that. It basically allows you to limit uh, the amount of recents that you have and stuff like that. But it's a pretty cool app. Uh, then, of course, you have Live Boot if you want that, which is basically a boot animation that shows a log. It's That's a pretty cool option. Uh, you know what, we'll, we'll go ahead and we'll add them just to show you. Um, I'm not going to add Synapse. Uh, I've tried adding it, and for some reason it just doesn't work uh, with, the, uh, with the ROM or the kernel that's with this ROM, or even a kernel that I flash. Um, Synapse is more for, uh, more for ROM or kernels like um, uh, Lightning and stuff like that. One plus one users would want to use that. Um, you know... It, Anyways, uh, the kernel auditor, there's one I, I want to have, uh, and it is the uh, kernel auditor from the XDA uh, thread, not from the Play Store, so that is a nice one to add. Uh, or, and the last but not least is what's called More Shortcuts. Uh, that's an app that allows you uh, to toggle hidden features. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and add that one. Um, we're going to go ahead and hit Next. Uh, this is basically, um, again, more, uh, more options uh, for, like, sounds uh it what do you want a device to boot up like do you want it to boot up with uh the lg sounds uh miui htc sony 
Google Pixel sounds or default. Now I'm gonna keep it to Pixel sounds. I, I kind of like the Pixel on the Nexus 6 as far as the sounds go. Uh, and then of course under the bottom, uh, it comes default with, uh, with all of the options picked. So that means it's, it, unless you uncheck them, it's gonna add all those sounds into your system. So later on, if you wanna add them manually, you can just go into like uh, um, your uh, ringtone or whatever and pick pick those. So that's pretty cool. I'm gonna leave that uh, set the way it is. If you wanna save a little bit of room on your, uh, on your system storage, uh, you can obviously uncheck some of those. Again, uh, I'm gonna leave it checked. Um, and then on the very bottom are uh, what, uh, you know, the sound quality you want. You can go optimize by using the uh, V20 64-bit uh, libraries. I'm just going to go with default uh, and use the, in, uh, the injected ones that come directly with uh, the device. Uh, now, obviously, if you're running like an LG uh, or something like that, you know, definitely I would probably use them. It, it, it was, it'll really enhance your sound systems. Uh, that's pretty much it uh, for now. Uh, then when you're done with picking the options you want, you go ahead and you click patch it. Um, it's going to run through the script. It's going to uh, pick and choose uh, or pull all of the, uh, uh, the options that you just chose and flash them uh, on top of the ROM. And then when this is all done, uh, then you'll flash your gaps um, and then reboot your system. Um, about the only issue I found so far with this is sometimes this will hang on you and it'll just sit there. Uh, not in this position, but it's normally right at the very end, uh, right after it flashes super user. Sometimes it'll hang there. And if it does, and if it sticks there for like five minutes solid and doesn't do anything, all you have to do is hit the power button. That's it. Just hit the power button one time. Uh, it will. What it does is it kind of uh, it pulls up um, the uh, twerp underneath and kind of gets rid of that uh, GUI that's running uh, on top of it. And then you can just swipe to unlock it and you'll see that it was success or successfully flashed. Again, guys, I'm not really going to uh, go over what it installs and show you uh, on the boot. Uh, this uh, video was more for you guys to see what's in it. Um, I really, really wanted to uh, um, uh, stress, uh, uh, put the focus on what uh, the work that went into it and all your choices and options. Uh, it's easy to show you that there's a patch and flash it and that you know this is what it does but um, I wanted you guys to see what options that you had and this is just the start um, there's going to be updates there's going to be things added you know so the one thing I think it's really cool is I don't know if it showed it uh, this does remove forced encryption um, if I could find it in here I don't know if I can scroll through there I can't uh, but it does remove forced encryption which is awesome uh, that is something we've had all kinds of issues with uh, when, with Nougat. And I probably shouldn't have touched the screen because I probably just locked it up. But I'm going to let it sit here for a little bit, uh, do its thing. Uh, then when it's done, uh, if it seems to be locked up, uh, let's let it go for a little bit. Uh, I am going to go ahead and pause this uh, and let it finish because sometimes it does take a while depending on your options. All right, um, now I've had this sitting here for about five minutes. Uh, nothing's happened. Um, it's stuck here, and I can tell by no animations on the bottom here uh, that it's basically stuck. And that's good because I'm going to show you guys how to fix this. Uh, all you have to do is hit the power button once, and it, see, and it takes you in. Uh, it just gets rid of that. You swipe to unlock it. And as you guys can see, that it was successfully flashed. So everything went fine. It was just a GUI interface kind of locked up on it. It doesn't do it all the time. This is like the third video uh, take that I've done of this so far. Um, and this is actually, the, I kind of wanted it to do it so I could show you how to fix it. In the first two takes, it didn't work. Um, so it actually did actually lock up on me. Uh, it doesn't do it all the time. Um, again, guys, but when it does, that's all you have to do. Uh, next, um, we are going to go ahead and flash... Uh, the uh, the gaps and I'm gonna go ahead and use what he says to use which are um, which are open gaps aroma uh, if I can get it here let's see uh, it's under download open gaps and uh, aroma now what I'm gonna do I don't normally do this but uh, I'm gonna go ahead and do it this time because I've had some issues where I was getting some, 
I was getting some uh, con or conflict conflicts. God, I can't even talk. Um, and it wasn't. It, it just didn't seem to be working for me last time at, because I was picking and choosing. So what I'm going to do this time, I'm just going to hit next, and I'm going to go ahead and do a complete install. Next. 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 Install gaps. Gonna go ahead and let it install the gaps. And basically it's giving me a full set of uh, G apps. So I'm gonna pause this until it's done because it's gonna take a while to flash. All right, once it's done, you hit next. Um, go ahead and finish out of this. Swipe to unlock. As you can see, it was flashed successfully. I'm gonna go ahead and wipe cache and Delvic. Uh, I am gonna wipe cache and Delvic again. And that is all I'm going to do to it. I'm not going to flash a kernel. Uh, normally here is where I would flash uh, my uh, Titan or my TBO uh, themable uh, gaps package over top of these uh, because it themes the, uh, the G apps that I normally like to um, theme with uh, OMS and stuff like that. But I'm not going to do that because I'm not showcasing the ROM or I'm not showcasing uh, the features after it boots. I just wanted to show you guys how to install it and what was in it. Um, so, and basically, you know, how to install. So, um, I already wiped or, uh, wiped both caches. Uh, now you would just reboot the system. We don't have to worry about forced encryption because the patch already removed it. Um, it should go ahead and boot up using the animation uh, that I chose to use with it as well, uh, which should be the pixel animation. Yep. And uh, I'm going to, and it may do this a couple times. That's a super user kicking in. That's just how it does. And I'm not going to go ahead and uh, let this boot uh, completely up because uh, you guys, uh, you already know what it looks like when it's booting. Uh, but remember, uh, there are sound enhancements um, and you basically the options that I showed you, uh, which were in the, uh, uh, which were in the script. So guys. If you like the uh, video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Um, and as soon uh, as Movie Stone gets the uh, the links out, I will post them in the, in the uh, description for you. Um, the last I talked to him, uh, he said that it was uh, definitely you know just about ready to go. I know I'm not uh, having very many issues at all with this. Um, you do kind of have to get used to how you flash it uh, and you know stuff like that. Um, it's not that hard though. Like I said, if you just do it the way I did it. Uh, you won't have a problem. So if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. Uh, I do want to thank all of my subscribers. I was kind of hoping that it would boot by now, but eh, it's not. And uh, guys, I'll see you on the next one.